How's it going, ladies and gents? It's Jeff with iDownloadBlog, going to show you how to downgrade iOS 7 back down to iOS 6. Now, although Apple says you can't technically downgrade back to a previous firmware version, that isn't true. It's actually really, really simple to downgrade from iOS 7 back down to iOS 6. If you're not feeling iOS 7 or you find it unstable, which it should be since it's a beta, then I'm going to show you how to easily downgrade back to iOS 6. First of all, you want to make sure you have your firmware for iOS 6. The latest now is uh, 6.1.3 for most devices um, and 6.1.4, I believe, for the iPhone 5. So make sure you have that downloaded. You can download it directly from iTunes or you can use uh, IDB's download page. You can download it from there. Just make sure you have it somewhere on your computer. Now you want to hold the option key once you have your device plugged in and iTunes open and click the restore device button. Mine says restore iPod because I'm using an iPod touch. Select your firmware from the uh, finder browser and then select restore. That's it. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, it's really, really, really simple. You just hold the option key if you're on a Mac and uh, hold the shift key if you're on a Windows box. But that's it. I mean, the restore is started. It's going to complete here in a second. I've obviously sped this up a little bit just to get through it for you guys. But uh, the restore process is super simple. Don't mind the fact that Apple says you cannot downgrade back to a previous version of iOS because as you can see right here, that simply isn't true. There are no tricks you need to do. You don't need to put your device in the DFU mode as some people are saying. All that is unnecessary. All you need is iTunes, your device, the firmware that you want to downgrade to. Now, obviously you can only downgrade to the latest signed firmware, and that is iOS 6.1.3 uh, for most devices there. But uh, you can downgrade easily back to iOS 6.1.3 if you want to do so. But for me, I'm going to stay on iOS 7 for a little while because I think it's pretty, pretty awesome little release. Uh, obviously, it's still beta. Keep that in mind. So I wouldn't try running iOS 7 on your primary device. If you have, then you're probably the one watching this tutorial right now because you want to downgrade back to a completely stable and working firmware. So that is it, folks. That's how you downgrade from iOS 7 to iOS 6. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.